You're listening to the Smoke Meat Podcast. I'm your host, Brad Pittman. Smoke Meat's brought to you by Joe's Underground at the corner of 8th and Broad in Augusta, Georgia, in the bottom of the Lamar Building. Such a great place to go. I uh, love going to Joe's. They make you feel like family every time you go in. So go on in, meet some new friends, hang out with some old ones. I remember I goes to Joe's and so should you. That's Joe's Underground, the corner of 8th and Broad in Augusta, Georgia, in the bottom of the Lamar Building. Today, my guest is none other than Mr. Chris Jones, singer extraordinaire. Such a great guy. Had a wonderful time talking to him. Still keep in touch with him. Ah, so just kick back and go on ahead and listen. Look up his great song, Strong. You'll dig the video and the song. So we're going to get this thing kicked off here on Smoked Meat. Hey, so how you doing today, Christian? Uh, I'm doing okay. How are you? If I were any better, I would okay. be twins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> I think the world's happy well, there are two brother. of me. You're my brother from another mother, so we don't have to look alike. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're twins inside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I, I've heard that our resemblance is very striking, though. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> other, other than you're, you're tall and handsome and I'm me. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's in the looks. I think it's in the heart. That matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what really counts. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you, you know, just talking to you before this interview in the last few days, I've had such a, a great time. You are so much fun. I mean, to oh, tell you. Thanks. Well, you know, we have to be positive, Brad. That's the only way that, that, uh, that things, uh, can be done, actually. Yeah. Uh, being positive because it's, if we sit and be negative, we, we won't move. It's, it's frightening, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, I think moving is the very important thing and being positive. Yeah, so yeah. And, uh, I'll tell you, you know, talking about moving, you know, you sent me your album. And, dude, that is just, man, it's so amazing because I'm, I'm the old guy who has the same playlist he had 20 years ago. And do, doing this show, you know, I'm getting introduced to a lot of musicians, and I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want to say being forced to listen to new music, but you know, yeah. I like I like to listen to somebody before I interview them because you know that's just what yeah. you do. You know, you can't be disrespectful and say, "Oh, I loved your album," and never listen to it because that's crap. I want to be yeah, real. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm getting introduced cool. to so much new music because I'm, I'm loving it, man. I can tell you, strong. It's been stuck in my head for several days now, and it's man, it's such a good. Oh group. wow! How cool is that? Yeah. Well, let me tell you the history of Strong. Yes, Strong is a story about all of my struggles. To you know, I was a fashion model before. I was in business. I graduated in business college, and and uh, then I decided to go into the arts. So I became a hair cutter, and I worked for Elizabeth Arden, and then. Uh, after I got tired of that, I got tired of the, the, the ladies bitching and fighting for appointments and all of the vanity. And then I decided to uh, go into the fashion world. And then I was modeling for a while. I lived in Paris and all over the world. And, and then finally, I, I, I knew that music was my heart and soul because, you know, when I was younger, I played the piano and the Hammond organ in my dad's church in Syracuse, New York, with my sister, uh, Grace Jones. We used to sing together. And my brothers, you know, who are very famous people, very famous preachers, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, my brother, Bishop Noel Jones, my brother, Max Jones. And then I was telling you about my younger brother, Kuda, uh, who is Randolph Jones, who was the American gladiator. So uh, my whole family is a showbiz family. So the the strong is is about all my struggles and and in the entertainment industry and you know people think it's very very simple but it's not. And then uh, I came up with that title one day. I was just so tired of running around and all the rejections and then I decided to put it in a song. So there you go. It was called Strong. 
so strong I the idea I took it we recorded parts of it in Jamaica the saxophonist is from uh, Serbia Belgrade and then I did parts of it in in uh, London and and Jamaica so it's an international track and then uh, I took it to uh, Brad LeBeau in New York promo lift he's one of the big music promoters uh, with Peter Nelson, and uh, then we decided to release it. So uh, rele we released it last year on Trax Records uh, with uh, Rachel Kane, who is love is, is me the some owner screaming Rachel, Trax. man. Yeah, screaming Rachel, and then uh, uh, it was amazing. I didn't know she owned Trax Trax records which is a, a very established classical label for dance and yeah. and it has all the classical uh like like uh uh larry levan and mark cayman and frankie knuckles and uh when 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 the track was finished and we were going to release it uh, i i met her and i've known her for many many years <laughs> But then when she told me I want to sign you, I said, you want to sign me? What are you going to sign me with? And then she said, well, I own Traps Records. I said, oh, my God, you don't. <laughs> 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 so that's how that story went. And then the video we produced in, in, um, in, in, in England, that was filmed all over as well, Belgium, Kissinger's. Gregorio Willem owned Kissinger's there. Then uh, I used my road manager in it, Bahe Sinian, and he's a, a businessman and, and my my best, 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 best friend. And uh, then we used uh, Abby Duente in the background, Anita Ilicic in the background. And then my friends, uh, I used uh, a couple of my friends from Germany in it as well. And uh, that's how that went. Mm -hmm. So the video is very interesting too. Yeah, I love I'm the look of the video. I'm talking about it, am I not? I'm not letting you get a word in. <laughs> oh, you're, you're doing fine, man. I am the most flexible <laughs> show you will ever be on. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the video, I love to look at a video, man. It's just... Man. Oh, yeah. Like well, so. well the, the, the video was produced by Martin Ryan, mm -hmm. and we collaborated together. He's one of the, the top producers on German television. And uh, we became friends a few years ago. Then I used my friend Timo from Germany, and his girlfriend Sandy is in it. And... Uh, I have uh, my my uh, cousin is in it, and then uh, did I say my my road manager was in it too, you, Bahi Centinian? You did. And uh, I think I mentioned him before, and uh, it, it was just an incredible, incredible thing to do. Yeah. So I'm very happy with it too. It's it's a lot of fantasy too. There's that big spliff scene in it. You know, and, and uh, it 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 has a feeling of of it it's parts fantasy and and magic, and uh, it's it's geared actually for for the younger children as well because it has the feeling of Star Wars, but um, uh, I like it because it's 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 a very unusual video. It's not just a musical video where you're 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 singing and and. And uh, with a band, and 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 uh, no type of action or fantasy in it. So yeah. uh, I decided to, with Martin, of course, he's a genius, Martin Ryan, and we decided to do uh, a video like that. And yeah, what what I liked about it, you know, was I I love movies and stuff like that because they just kind of take me to a different place for a little while. And it's going to sound strange, but watching the video while I'm while I'm watching it, I'm just in a different spot, and I like that because to me, like I said, it's, while videos would okay, here's the band, here's the guy singing, and they're on stage, and boom, they're cool. But I, I like stuff like that that just kind of lets me forget about different things for five minutes even, 
and that's what that well, video it's does. Well, fantasy. Yeah, it's 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 uh, yeah. it's a fantasy, and at the same time, it's 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 about love, it's about caring, but it's 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 a trip. It's like you're taking a a trip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some LSD, maybe. <laughs> Man, it's something that's for sure. <laughs> Oh man! But, but, yeah, but I didn't want to do a, a boring video, and that's where Martin came in, mm -hmm. and uh, he he has a a, a mind uh, very futuristic, and we collaborate incredible together. I mean, he's done a lot of my mixes and uh, for my album. And in fact, we're working on three more songs now that we're going to re be, we're going to release on tracks. I'm mm -hmm. doing a, a track with Ebby Duente, who is one of my background singers. Mm -hmm. Her professional name here is Miss Autumn Leaves. She's you can Google her, Miss Autumn Leaves. She's just fantastic. So I'm waiting for a track to come in that I will be the guest artist on it. And uh, then I have two more other tracks. Uh, uh, that are coming out. One is I Just Met You. We're doing a remix on that one. That was written for uh, someone I really love, that, that special person in my life. Mm -hmm. Of course, I can't tell you who he is, but I don't kiss and tell. But that song, I Just Met You, was written for him. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we have I Wonder Why. You remember Mark Kamen's, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Mark and I collaborated on a song 40 years ago. And uh, I'm going to release it now, the instrumental version. We're working on it, and it's called I Wonder Why. So uh, that one's going to be released soon. And uh, so I have three new tracks coming uh, that we're going to release on tracks uh, very soon. The one with Mark Kamen's and, and uh, the one with Epi Duante. I can't tell you the title of that one yet, but it's jamming. I'm the guest artist, and then... Uh, uh, I just met you, which is on the album. So we're doing a remix on that. So the three things I'm looking forward to releasing. Soon. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing them. It's like say, man, I, I, I love listening to new music, and for for me, you know, music's healing. Music brings everybody yeah. together, and it's just it's yeah, such a wonderful yeah. thing. Yes, yeah, that's that's for sure, Brad. It's. And especially now, you know, but the thing about now is that that it's so amazing because normally in times of crisis, the entertainment industry is never affected. And the entertainment industry normally is 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 the 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 group and the corporation that makes people feel better and can take their minds off of the stress the daily stresses of life and um, but um, even the, the the entertainment is affected yeah. I mean this virus is totally isolated yeah. uh, totally isolated everyone I mean I just it, it's, it's amazing I just can't understand it yeah and you know it's funny you know, you talk about the entertainment industry you always, and they always have been, you know, the ones who could always do something while things were going on. And now, you know, everything is so locked down. Um, they're starting to film a little bit more here in the States, but I, I don't know if we're actually filming in Georgia right now. You know, I live, uh, on one side of me, uh, about 20 miles, I've got Tyler Perry studios. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm about 10 miles away from Pinewood studios. And um, wow. about 12 miles from where they filmed The Walking Dead. So, and uh, I don't think, usually, you know, you see little black and yellow signs that show the drivers where to go if they're with the production. Yeah, yeah not yeah, seeing I, any of those right now. Well, it's, it's um, I don't know what this situation is going to lead to. It's, 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 uh, uh, I don't know. It's it's just not where it needs to be. And I, again, I think that it's going to be up to the federal government to, because everyone is all over the page. Like Europe, for example, mm -hmm. it, it 
there was no politics in wearing a mask. And, you know, yeah. me being in England and watching CNN and MSNBC and Fox News, it's, it's, they've made this disease political. Yeah. It's not political. And it, 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 if they don't get it together soon, I mean, there are 4 million people in America and it's climbing and mm -hmm. people are dying and, and th there will be no economy opening unless they have the, the testing and the tracing because I would like to know who's sitting next to me if they've been tested or not. Yeah. I was tested. So I would like to know, and the only way we're going to clear this up, they're going to really have to seriously, and especially you, you're one of the, 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 the first responders. I mean, you have a job like this. I mean, you would like to know who, that the person next to you has been tested. Yeah. And I think that's the difference in, in, in Europe and America. America has to wake up. It has to do it soon because... They're thinking the economy is going to open. It's not going to open until this disease is under control. Yeah, if exactly. If the disease is not under control, nothing's going to open. Exactly. You know, and and it drives me insane that people are politicizing this thing because I've I've seen it. You know, firsthand. You know, I've I've watched yeah, this I've thing felt. take Democrats, Republicans, Independents. Yeah. Black, white, straight, gay. It doesn't care who you are. It will take you. And, and even though people say, well, I can survive this, you may be able to, but the person next to you that you're giving it to may not be able to, or may their not. grandchild may not be able to, you know. Everybody may just needs not. to forget the lines and suck it up and do what we need to do to fix this thing. Well, yeah. I'm telling you, I think, you know, I'm in London now, and, and they're a little bit getting a little outrageous a bit about it, mm -hmm. you know, because people are getting bored, but... You still have, when I walk in the street, people are still respecting the science. Yeah. The science is, 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 is very important uh, to, to follow because you still have to. So if everyone is on one page, it will happen. You know, yeah. it yeah. will happen. I'm, I'm ready I for forgot it to happen. mention in, yeah, I forgot to mention in my video, Whitney, who is, uh, she's also in it, Whitney, and she's from Germany, mm -hmm. beautiful German-Jamaican girl. She's in the video as well. And um, uh, I don't know. I had thinking about doing some more videos soon mm -hmm. with some more tracks, but, you know, everything is, it costs, costs a lot of time, costs a lot of money. You know, it's not easy when you... Uh, have to do a, a good production for the world. I mean, I'm not one of those people that go on the computer and write a song in two minutes. You know, I have to have an orchestra. I have to have live musicians and, you know, things like that. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing, actually. And, and uh, I love being in Europe and working in Europe. It just gives you a different headspace. So mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I've never been. I want to go one day, though. But I've never well, been. Well, you have to, Pat. And oddly enough, you know, you I've never to. flown. Ah, <laughs> well, that's not. Listen, you're not the only person in the world. <laughs> I mean, I know quite a few people who have never flown. Mm -hmm. and uh, But it's something you have to start as a child as well. You know, my parents were always traveling and took us with them. Yeah. And, uh, if you're not accustomed to it, you know, accustomed to it, you know, it took me a while. I mean, I, I stayed in limbo for a while before I started flying. So it's never too late. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I'm touring with my sister Grace mm -hmm. sometimes. And, and that's a lot of travel. Like, I mean, this year we had quite a few things booked and of course everything's canceled, but I don't believe in the zooming concerts. Mm -hmm. You know, I think this will ruin the music industry eventually. I think it, it loses a lot when an artist does not have all the proper uh, ingredients they need for a performance, you know, and then you need the people because I think that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So I will just wait, 
you know, even if I have to wait a couple of years until this thing is over with to perform, then I would do that. But the Zooming performances, I don't like. Yeah. You know, I think sitting there and then trying to sing, you know, yeah. with, uh, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's really weird. And, and it's, it's, it's like watching tennis or something like that. I don't think you need a crowd. Yeah. But I think when you, when, when it's about your soul, you know, I think that's a different thing. Yeah. And singing and music comes from the soul. Well, you know, doing comedy, you know, I, I'm, I'm aching to get mm -hmm. back on stage. You know, I do comedy also, and I'm, I'm so ready to get back on stage. And, and, you know, I can't do the Zoom thing with that because I, like I said, I feed off the crowd. You know, I, I got to know yeah, they're well, enjoying of course. it. Yeah. Of course, even though the crowd may be on the Zoom, but there's a different thing than yeah. when, when you're right in the middle, right in the mix. Yeah. You know, that's a totally different story. With 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 that ambience, that that the warmth. Yeah, and that's that that's what I need when I play is that that live crowd. Yes. You know, they're in front of me. And yeah, I, I tried and the Zoom thing once, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. It, it wasn't me. No, it doesn't, work. it doesn't work because you need that live magnetic feeling of you. But you see, that's the problem with this. this this disease, it isolates everyone. Uh -huh. You see, it completely isolates everyone. Yeah. You know, I don't want this disease to be the topic of our lives, but at the moment, they just need to get that straight in America. Actually, my friends are telling me, don't go to New York uh -huh. when I leave London. Go straight to Jamaica, uh -huh. because Jamaica only had not even 50 people died there. Maybe there are 50 people who died from coronavirus there. Mm. So they're telling me if I go to New York, I may catch it, go straight from London to Jamaica. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. You know, because, you know, I miss my family in New York and my friends. Fly, fly into you Atlanta. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, fly, fly to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And hang out with you. There you go. You've always got a spot <laughs> here. Hang out with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we'd have a good time, trust me. Oh, and any anytime you come here, you are fed. That's a given. Girl, you will not worry home. about eating. But, yeah. Thank you so um, much. And maybe I'll help you and become a first responder. Hey. Things. There you go. I'll ride in the ambulance with you. Hey, that works. <laughs> that works. You know, I blame the yeah. I, I blame this pandemic on my daughter. On yeah. your dog? My, no, my daughter. Why? My my daughter my daughter caused this. Because no. yes, you you know who BTS is, right? The they're a yes. K-pop band. Well, yes. for years she has just tried so hard to get tickets to one of their shows. And this year, when they come to Atlanta, they put out a pre-sale, and she got lucky enough to get on the list for that, and she finally got tickets. And three days oh later, they shut everything down for the pandemic, so I'm blaming oh her. <laughs> yep. Oh, what's her name? Her name is Katie. Katie. Oh, Katie. <laughs> yep. Oh, my well, I hope she'll see them again in a year or so. Yeah. Well, they, they've actually still got the, well, they, they say it's postponed, but I, I don't believe it'll, it'll ever happen. You know, I, I think that's Ticketmaster or whoever just kind of hoping and holding out. But, yeah, who knows? I, no, I'd love for it to be able year, to see I, them. Yeah, but I think bad next year that everything will be coming back to normal. I mean, if America, if America takes this by the the neck mm -hmm. and hang it and and get the rates low then they need to open up to the world again because everything is blocked mm -hmm. the only country the UK are letting people in mm -hmm. but if I go to another country I have to quarantine mm -hmm. you know what I mean depending on what country you're coming from yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's mad. If you're coming from the USA, you have to come to London and quarantine for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then in other countries like Hungary and and uh, 
uh, my best friend lives in Hungary, and uh, places like that. If 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 a Hungarian comes to 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 London, which is one of the uh, yellow countries, then when they go back, they have to go on quarantine huh. for two weeks. So if 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 you do that and you have a job, you will lose your job yeah. because the police will check you. And if they find that you're not where you're supposed to be, they charge you 1,500 euros, Ooh. which is about uh, uh, for each time. So it's it's not very easy now, not even to go and visit people mm. <laughs> and friends. Mm. And, you know, it, it's, it's unfortunate, but I hope America gets it together. They really have to. Yeah, well, they shut down in Belgium again yesterday, too, but... They have it under control, mm -hmm. you know, where when they see that it's, it's getting too big, then they start cutting things out. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a curfew in Belgium now at 11 o'clock at mm -hmm. night. So it has to be, it has to be controlled. I don't know. This is just some scary times. It, it is, but I think everybody's going to come out of it stronger and better and yeah, we're gonna get out of it. We're uh, gonna be strong. <laughs> yeah, most uh, nice, well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, <laughs> you're crazy. killing me. Well, all right now. But I'm missing America. Uh, now but be, I don't want to kill you. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> now, Ben, I want you to be conscious. <laughs> for no. all the good things that are going to happen so. exactly yeah. well now being Jamaican yeah. and and have traveled huh? be, being Jamaican and have traveled everywhere I've got a question for you I ask a lot of people because you know I cook I'm always looking for new things to cook what is your favorite thing in the world to eat oh my god <laughs> And you cannot say curry chicken because everybody I talk to from Jamaica, that's the only recipe they're giving me. And I like curry chicken, but I want something new. I know, but I would have to say ackee and codfish. Okay. I could really, I could get into that. Okay. Ackee and codfish and scabich fish. Mm -hmm. Scabich fish is, is a fish that is seasoned and then it's fried with vinegar and uh, it's very good, actually. That sounds Especially really good. If you use a parrot, a parrot fish, uh, scabich fish, and Akian codfish. Very cool. Well, I'll learn to make it. Did I surprise you? You did. Every, like everybody I've talked to from Jamaica, you know, it, on on here in life anywhere, always tells me curry chicken, and I'm like, okay, I get it. You like curry chicken? Give me something new, <laughs> and you definitely did. Yeah, well, well, the curry chicken actually, because you know we have a lot of East Indians in Jamaica. Yeah, and um, I remember when I was a kid going to boarding school, uh, Saint Jago, I went to in in Spanish Town. That the mixtures, the kids, the girls would have long hair that was plaited, and I would run up and pull their hair and run away. Give a good yank. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Give it a good yank and then run away. It's like like pulling. You know how you used to how you pull a bell or to ring those bells. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just yank the head. <laughs> the girls. Oh, they hated. Me. <laughs> they hated me so much. Yeah, but but the curry I think comes from the Indians, and that's why. Uh, but they have some good curries. Oh, they yeah. really have some good curries. That's oh, yeah. sure. I, I love I love curry. I love anything real spicy. I I actually um I do like little character videos on YouTube. And uh yes. I put up an Amazon list at the beginning of all this when everybody started getting quarantined and uh it's just all the little hot food challenges. And I told yeah. everybody if anybody orders some something off of this and it's sent to me. Then you get to pick the character that I have and what they do while I do this challenge. Well, my last one, a friend of mine sent me what's called the white chocolate challenge. 
and it's a piece of white chocolate white infused chocolate. with yes in a piece of white chocolate infused with 12 of the hottest peppers in the world what yes and uh he wanted me to do murray who is my clown who this is murray's voice murray is very abrasive murray is not right Mur- murray is a different kind of clown for sure and uh he wanted me to do murray reading the bad parts of 50 shades of gray on video so I did, and it was hilarious. But oh, that was so hot! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, uh, I'll I'll send you a link to it. You will love it. Murray is okay. hilarious. Yeah. I would love to 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 see that. So what uh, are you going to do today? Ah, uh, I'm just going to be interviewing today. Yep, yep, okay. yep. Today's your interview day. Yes. And when when are you going to broadcast everything? Uh, should be a week or two. Week or two. Oh, that's great. Yep. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Yep. Well, I tell you, you know, you're welcome on here any time. I've got to go because I've got a couple other things I got to do. But you know, I'm yeah. I'm so happy you came on, and you are welcome any time, oh, my friend. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be your guest. And I am honored that you came on, and I'm definitely going to keep and in I touch. Can't wait to keep you in touch. Okay, Brad. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, yeah.